Hey, hi, and hello, friends. Micah Daly here from WPMU Dev and host of the podcast, Hello WP. No one can deny the power of a form. It's a simple way to connect with potential customers, generate sales, grow a community, and really just about anything. But the waters become a bit more murky when you have to figure out how to sort all of the user data you're collecting. Do you manually write it all down in a notebook? Do you import it into a CSV file? Do you hire an intern to move everything into Asana? Well, what if you could have it all automatically populate in a Google spreadsheet? Spoiler alert, you can. It's automatic. You can invite others to view and make edits. And it's all available from your company drive. So in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a Google form, embed it on your WordPress website, and have all submissions go to one Google spreadsheet. Before we dive in, I'd like to suggest giving our free and easy segue writing form poll and quiz plugin Forminator a try. With Forminator, you can create and completely customize dynamic forms, and you can even integrate them with Google Sheets, so all submissions automatically populate in one shareable spreadsheet. All right, enough shameless advertising. On to our Google Forms tutorial. First, we need to create a form. From your Google Drive dashboard, click New, More, Google Forms, and then choose between Blank Form and From a Template. For this particular project, I'm going to choose the Contact Information Template. Now, I'll add some quick customization. OK, time to embed this form on your WordPress site. Click Send on the top right of the page. A pop-up will appear with a few different sharing options. Go to the Embed tab, which is the greater than, less than looking arrows, and copy the HTML code. Now, go into your WordPress site and create or edit a post. In this case, I'm creating a new one. I'll name this post Contact Us. Now, from a text block, I'll click the little HTML button on the right, and I'll paste the code that Google gave us in there. To have all your form's responses sent to a Google spreadsheet, from the form creator, click the Responses tab and hit the little green icon. And you, my friend, are good to go. I'd like to point out that as of the making of this video, Google only allows you to change the theme color and font. Forminator, on the other hand, gives you complete control of everything, all within its super clean and super fun to use UI. But depending on the use case, Google Forms might be exactly what you need, and embedding it on your website gives it one more place to be seen by your people. For more information and tutorials on WordPress, marketing, and forms, visit WPMUDev.com. Now go and have a form-tastic day. <laughs>